Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode I'd like to carry on with a bit more with the advanced rocketry and I'd also like to complete some quests from uh, Thermal. It's basically a Thermal expansion stuff. So let's start with that shall we. So on Thermal we've basically, I was looking at that one, I want to do these dusts. So we've got to do some erothium dust and petrothium dust. Now the recipe for that is basically redstone and nitra but we've also got to get some powders now the way to do that is I think if I'm not mistaken let's have a look I've got them prepared here so we need this blizz powder now we can make blizz powder from blizz rods which we haven't got any of course because we've not seen any blizzies but we can do it this way so we can put sand into a destabilize with destabilized redstone into fluid transposer so that's 200 milli buckets which is two redstone and I need to make, I think we need to make 20, 10 of these. So we need 2,000. Now there's another way to do that. We can use this destabilized clatherate. And that one, well, let's do it that way. I think this is the magnet crystal, yes. And I think at 16 we'll produce 4,000. That's fast, isn't it? Yeah, 4,000. That was a good guess, wasn't it? I'm surprised about that. So we need some sand. So we need a uh, ten sand, I think. Yes. And we'll put that into here, and we should get blizz powders. Wrong machine. I thought it was. It's slow. I haven't upgraded this one, have I? No, I have not upgraded this one yet. We we'll need to do that at some stage. Great. So the other one was petrothium, I think. Let's have a look at that one. Now this one needs redstone basalt, so we need, um, again it's in the fluid transposer, Do it, so again it's 200 million so, and some um, obsidian dust. I wonder if we've got obsidian dust, we might actually have. Yes, so we need 10 of these. We'll do the same thing over here when that's finished. So that will leave us with 2,000 by the time we finish this. But while, that's, <laughs> while that's going on, it might be worth doing a speed upgrade on the fluid transposer. Let's do that. So we need uh, an upgrade kit, don't we? So it's not even hardened yet. So can we do this? Oh, indeed we can. Good. And then we need a, then we need a speed augment. which is this one. So we need one of these, I think we'll do. And then we can do one of these. That was fairly painless, wasn't it? So that's the fluid transposer. That was good. And then we can put this one straight into it. by right clicking it again. And it's now speeded up a little bit. So we've got our 10 blitz powder in here. So we can then put the pulverized obsidian in. And of course that's going a weeny bit faster now, which is great. Now what we can do with this is we can compact it. So the compact is over here. And we're gonna, what I'm going to do is make four. Oh, I don't think I'm going to end up making two, aren't I? I need to do twice. Oh no, two's fine. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I need two per. I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. I was going to make a seed. We should have actually detected that in that case. Usage of this is to make a blizz chunk with a tier 4 mod so we need four of these and the uses of that one be four to make a seed well i'll do that i'll do that off camera and it's exactly the same for this one as well it's actually not so much 10 of these so that should also Ooh, actually i haven't completed the quest have i because i've just done exactly the thing i don't want to do let's but you can see the idea so let's take what are the uses of these can i grind them up again to give me pulverizer four. Oh, I lose one, but uh, that doesn't matter. We'll grind them up again for the chance of the other one. So it's that pulverizer. Take that out of there. Grind that one up. Get those back again. So now let's let's make these two powders. So we can make some of those. I shall make two, that'll be fine. And we'll do the petrothium dust as well. 
and that's my two and that should then complete the quest the dusts I don't know what we need the dust for particularly well not I do but not at the for not the stuff we're doing at the moment so I'll put those away so that's that one done and the next one I want to do is the, the, the ducks and we've got some super laminated ducks and things like that to do so I think we've got to do yeah super laminated flux duct so bronze ingots and hardened glass I wonder if, what we can do in that one oh that's the okay that's fine but we needed a hardened I think I should have hardened let's get it out fluid duct item duct fluid duct And sure enough, that gives us one super laminated flux duct, fluid duct opaque. So, and the next one, I'm not sure what the other one is. Let's have a look. Let's claim this reward. Go back. Is this one here? So, I need to make one of these, which it should have detected, and an item impulse duct. That one's fairly straightforward. I think that's just. Let's have a look what that one is. An item impulse duct, I think opaque it'll be, so it's signal plated. I have done that one, haven't I? Impulse item ducts. It's this one. So we need two energy two millibuckets, two hundred millibuckets of energized glowstone with an item duct and that will give us this impulse item duct oh, that's not very difficult let's see, it's probably just two of these I think it's just two close to them. let's just check oh, of course it'll go straight into here ah it's a bit of an awkward number we need to take another two and that will give it a thousand And that should then be give us enough for five. So let's take five item ducks and put them into here. So the fluid transposer, and we should have our impulse item ducks now. I've actually made those before, so let's have a look. Have a look at those quests and see what's wrong with that one. Super laminate flux duct. Why is it not detecting this one? What did I make then? Super laminated fluid duct. Sorry, flux duct or flu Must be fluid duct. That's opaque. Do I need to make the clear one? Oh yes, I do. So we need to make some more of these. Oops, missed. Try again. <laughs> A bit too far away this one oh, oh I thought I'd done this one that should give me the clip oh that's the opaque one okay what have I got here impulse item ducts so we need a hard and fluid duct in here Ah, I wonder, is it the wrong type of fluid duct? I probably need I probably need the clear ones for these. Let's look at the uses of that. Okay, so we need six of those with that should give me six hardened fluid ducts. That's, that should be okay, I think we might have six in here. Four five okay <laughs> oh dear let's go around the recipes on this one that'll give me six that's fine now we can do the clear one the trouble is just seeing it on here is get, I'm basically guessing hard and fluid duct let's do that one and then we can do the super laminated one that one Actually, just a second. Is that expensive? 
Cause it... Oh no, it's the same. It's the same, isn't it? Whatever you do, you got quite a few of these ones. Uh, and I've got no space to store anything. Let me just get rid of something. Pulverize iron. Yeah, that includes that completes that quest reinforced. But I've got no space. Just brilliant. Let's have a look. Let's put some of this stuff away. I've got these ones can go away. These can probably go away. Let's go over here and put the these away like that. Containment chalice, let's put that away. Let's get this out. And open it up. Two energy la lasers, that's not a bad reward actually. Do I have a space for those? No. But I can make a space. I don't need this flu, flu tokens anyway at the moment. Let's put those there. Let's put the flu tokens in the system just to get rid of it. Now, so that completes all of those quests. Let's go back to the quest now. Let's claim that reward. Back. So now the only things which are left are then a signalum, which is basically a signalum server and a signalum flux duct. What's the recipe for signalum flux duct? So I'll cut one. Fluid duct. Flux ducts are here, aren't they? This one. Well, we should be able to do this one. Because we've got some redstone flux duct in here. We need three. Like that. And we should also be able to make a um, servo. And complete this quest as well. So we just need one of these. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just do it like this. Well, that's the cheapest recipe to be by a long way. And actually complete that quest. So the next one will be the next one up, I guess, which will be um, probably a, probably a more difficult one. So let's just open this one up. Lanterns of paranoia. We should ugh, can't get these to work anyway. So let's just get rid of it. In fact, we've got a better we've got a better tools than that one. Anyway, let's press F4. Let's claim that reward. So the next one's resident. So we've got to make a resident flux duct and a resident server. Well, server's no big deal. We can do that straight away. And just take the, let's look at the uses of this one. Do that. Ah, no enderium. I've got, but must have enderium. At least in powder form. Let's take a stack of that and look at the uses of that one. Move that back and just take a stack of those. So now we can do this one from this recipe and make another server. Let's get rid of that. And then we need a flux duct, didn't we? This will be this one. Which I guess we can do with this recipe. And that'll complete that quest. Good. I'm just grinding out these quests at the moment to get rid of them. It's time to get rid of a few of these. But there is another one I should do, and that's infused, I think. So and there was no reward for that one, brilliant. Which then brings us on to the last of these, which I'm not going to do. Fluid ducts, cryostabilized flux duct, and a viaduct. I'll do that another day. Because we've com basically completed all of those, completed all of those. And then we've got to do these. Well, we've done the ar armor already. What else have we got in here? Basically, one of all types of weapons. So I'll do that prepare it. I don't think I need to craft it here, do I? It's just a crafting exercise. And a watering can basic. So we'll have to go through the different watering cans. Mm, maybe we could do that one. Let's have a look if it's difficult. I 
to be this one, won't it? It's yet another copper ingots. We're short of copper ingots. Okay, copper. Take another stack of those. Ship those up. 60 ashes. That was why I only got 60 dust because I they come in groups of six. <laughs> and I had didn't notice that before. So let's get rid of this one. Let's open up this chest. Actually, not such a bad one. Basic storage. I'm only ever upgrading them to the next level anyway. Let's get rid of these two. Put them in there. Let's say it wasn't such a bad reward, especially at early game. So now we need a bucket. Actually, let's iron plates. Let's make our own bucket for this one. Oops, try again. I'll tell you what, we'll do it from here. And those are the iron plates I made last time. Fantastic. So we can now do this one. We've got our watering can basic. That should complete the next one. And there's bound to be a next one up here like this one. I can almost guarantee it. Let's just double check the quest to be honest with you. Let's go claim that one back. Oh no, that finishes the end of that one. Unusual. <laughs> and I haven't done these storage cells either. I probably should do these storage cells. So let's do an energy cell frame. And it's also going to thermal, so a cell. So we need to make this one. And I couldn't do it before because of the iron wood ingot, so I had to get that one. Might as well open up this chest while I'm doing it. Five bales of hay, wow. Just what we need, right? I think I have those in blocks, possibly. No. Then it's probably in raw... F no, it's in seeds, isn't it? Yes. Plants and stuff. So now the uses of this one So we quickly make a little bit an electron so a conductance coil. So we should be able to then make this energy so I guess that's the next one on the list. Let's double check it before I bother to do that one. Let's claim that back. So the next one is oh devices. A device frame. Okay, let's see what that one is. Oops, wrong place. Just a block of silver in the resonator. Okay, that's what we got for silver in here. Oh, I can do it easily enough, I suppose. I haven't got a I haven't got a seed for this. Actually, let's open this chest. Actually, this is a good one. Storage upgrade version five. Let's put that one away. Now I should have space for that in my stuff here. I do look. Oh, four of those. Great. And this block of steel just goes in the resonator. Oh, I've got some. Oh, those are speed upgrades for this, aren't they? Very fast. And that should complete another quest. Fantastic. We're really whipping through these quests today. Let's get rid of the last of that ones on that, on that page. Claim that back. Oh, actually has opened up some different machines now. Uh, what's that? An arboreal? An arboreal extractor. Well, I suppose that needs this device frame. And I bet you it's in here. Fluid. This one. What can we do on that one? Almost everything. Ah, it's just one of these redstone. I probably need a few of these. Let's take about four. Let's take eight. So that's just iron goods, which we've got already. Planks of any description and a copper. So that should be dead easy. 
and that should complete another quest. I don't know what to, to do with this at the moment. Why well, doesn't complete the quest? It's got another part to it, that's the reason why. Some resin and some sap. Okay. Well, let's put it down there. Now, what are the recipes for this? Has it got any recipes in this? No, but I guess that we need to put some trees in it of some description. Let's have a look. Resin and sap. Okay, that's resin and sap. So. What does sap look like? <laughs> oh, didn't seem to mistype that nicely. That sap. So it is just basically. Oh, it goes through the a resin funnel. That's a bit weird. An augment resin funnel on. Okay, let's do it that way. A resin funnel. I'm sure that this is an augment on that machine I've just made. So let's have a look at that one. Now, what does the resin funnel look like? Nah. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that again. Um, for sap, I've taken it off, haven't I? That right, gives me sapling. But I need so I need thermal in front of this. So it's a bucket. Looks like a bucket. This one. And now, why does it tell me it goes into? Oh, it's a sawmill special specialization. That's okay. So really, that was a bad machine to make. It might have been better to make a sawmill, huh? Okay. Now we're missing a few bits on that one. That's not surprising. Okay, that's no big deal. Are those copper gears? Yes, they are. So we need eight pieces of copper. I shall make the, all of these into gears. Where's the compactor? Let's just change the mode to gears and get those into there. That should come through fairly fast. We get eight. Let's put those away. get the sawmill out. So I think we have everything else. So I think we have an iron gear. Oh no we don't. We have, don't have the machine frame. Okay that's just a block of iron in the resonator. Let's get that out. I've done this already before but <laughs> that's really whippy fast. <laughs> In fact let's put that frame away as well while we're thinking about it. Probably should have done a couple of those. So now, sawmill. Yeah, we got everything we need. It's a bit strange that, that I don't understand why that's making this machine. I'm going to put it on top of the other one for, this, for the moment. So we'll make the bucket thing, the resin, resin funnel. Can we do that straight off? No. What was the thing we're missing? Just the one at the bottom, a bucket. Oh, honestly. Let's get another bucket. We also need the hardened upgrade. So we're missing a gear. I think we're missing a bronze gear. I need bronze. We've got bronze in the system. We have. Let's go and get some bronze gears. And I'll do the same thing. These are actually, we use these a lot. Especially with forestry, I think. But we're not done any forestry yet. I'm not sure why it's in the pack if it's not got any. 
any quests for him. Let's shift those away. Let's see if we can do that now. No, we've done the funnel one to harden the upgrade, don't I? So that should be alright. So we should be able to put that one onto there and also put the this one onto there. And it probably doesn't need any power because it's getting power from the from there. From the oh, what's it called? The wireless receiver from X utilities. So now we just need some wood. Let's put some wood into it. Well these oak, of course, because we've got no shortage of oak. That's two will do to start with. Let's see. So that gives me planks and sap. Now, how much sap do we need? So that gives you 20 for sap. We probably need a bucket, do we? Yes. So that was two gives us, so we need a thousand. So we need 20 pieces of this. No. Maybe more. I'm not sure. So hold on, 20. That's five. 25, isn't it? Should it all in because it's not going to be able to do more than 64 planks anyway. But that's 70 milli buckets. We need a thousand milli buckets. So that gives us, yeah. Okay, I'll let that run. We need to find somewhere to put these planks. Let's put the planks in the system. Hopefully we don't fill our system up with stuff, but there we are. So I've got to get this out of here as well. So that should be 200. There's quite a lot of wood to do this, isn't there? Anyway, while that's doing that, let's have a look at the other one, which was resin. So we don't need the upgrade. So what's the difference then? A resin funnel on the saw on the sawmill. Okay. Maybe it's that different types of wood. Arcadia wood, jungle wood, or birch wood. Spruce, eucalyptus, ebony, mahogany, pine, willow, mangrove, magic. So I think it's just a different type of wood. Fir, I've got stacks of. I'm just checking we haven't got oak in here. Eucalyptus. Apple wood planks, and then we come back to Arcadia, or Arcadia, Arcadia jungle or birch. So what we've got a lot of in here. Oh, we've got plenty of birch. We've got plenty of what's that one? Hellbark. Can that one do? Well, I suppose we've got most of Arcadia. Let's see if that works. Because it won't work if I've got sap in here, so we need to get rid of this a lot of wood to do this. Is that the best way to do this? I don't see another way for getting sap. Anyway, I shall carry on with that in my own time. We'll wait. I need to get a way to get this stuff out of here. So this is the compactor. Uh, fluid transposer can will it go over the top of this or do I have to move this thing out of the way that's the question in fact I can move this out of the way do we need a pickaxe yeah where did that go to there let's put that on top of this machine here and then that should be able to power these machines just double check it right click it yeah fine so I think that's leaving power this machine underneath this one but this one doesn't seem to require what does this do anyway it doesn't take wood it doesn't take planks information it extracts fluid from adjacent trees for uh, okay 
not every tea will be productive. That's the one for that. I seem to remember this one. I seem to remember watching a video about this. Basically, you put it down beside trees and it extracts it, but it's quite a slow process. So what we can do here is pick it up. Let's do that. Where's my crescent hammer? Can't see it. Here. But I've got no space whatsoever. Let's get rid of this wood. Oops, can't do that, of course. Arcadia wood. Tell you, we'll put that in the system for the time being. Um, we'll get rid of this chest as well. Let's look at what's in here. The bean one. <laughs> Let's go put the beans away. I thought it might be something. I was going to turn to myself. I bet it's something to do with. Have I got the bowl? Let's see the raw beans. I think the raw food. Put it in the raw food one here. For the time being, because I still haven't bothered to find where the other ones are. <laughs> There we go. That's the five beans and the soup. Soup goes in here. Baked beans. And the soybean goes in there. That's fairly straightforward. So I wanted to pick up this machine, didn't I? Let's get this out of the way. Let's dump that one down as well. I actually dropped the stuff out of it, that's interesting. Didn't expect it to do that. Let's put the sawmill down there. And then we could put the um, the wireless transceiver. Has it actually stayed up there? That's okay. I'll leave it up there in that case. <laughs> Since it actually doesn't need to be on this book, that's actually good. So we can actually then extract the fluid out of here. Hopefully I didn't lose the fluid. I said that. I just have lost the fluid. Brilliant. Let's put that into the fluid extractor and then we can make a bucket's worth of that. So what do we need? Some fluid duct. Five pieces? Is that probably not enough? Why did that connect to there? Shouldn't have done. Let's make sure it doesn't connect to there. I think I'm not 100% sure whether we need to put this into there. Um, let's have a look. What have I got in here? So we need some saplings. Let's go and get some saplings out of the system. I think. Now, where am I going to keep the saplings? I, mean, I don't think they're in bits and pieces. Probably in plants. Let's see. What have I got here? Tigerwood sapling. Okay, we'll take one of those. I think that will actually work with this particular thing. Let's try that one. Have I got anything else I could get rid of? Those don't go in there, and I've got space for those in there. Same for that one, and same for that one. Brilliant. Um, plants and seeds. Have we got oak? Yes, we've got the spruce. That was another one. And an oak sapling. Let's go and quickly plant those down, down the bottom. There. So what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, altar and just jump off the edge. And we'll put the trees down here somewhere. Now, I don't know how much space they need. But let's give them a, a block between each one. Get rid of that one, whatever it is. Go, can't. And the spruce tree. Let's put the spruce tree down here. And then let's put this arboreal thing in the middle of it. And see what happens. I suppose the fastest way back is up here. I haven't actually checked in here for a while either. But every time I come along here, it's always complaining about not being able to take these leaves into here, you see? And I'll bet you anything that one of these leaves can go into that. What have we got in here? Peach leaves. Oh, they won't go in. 
Oh, that's a nice freeze. This is filling up nicely with different woods. What else can we do in here? Redwood roots. Redwood. Natura. I'll tell you what, I think my filter's full. I can't do any more than that. In that one, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to leave it like that. It's, I don't mind it. It's actually done a few leaves, look. It can just do its own business, it don't care. So let's leave that for a while and see what happens later on. There was something else I was going to show you, wasn't it? Yes, I know what it was. Let's go, let's go this way. Oh, you see, I just picked up two crystals, I think. Yes, I did, look. So a celestial, two celestial crystals. Now, one of these, let's, let's compare those together. So one of those is going to be a good one. So that's 97%. And this is 90%. They're both split up to 97%. So I'm going to put the big one back in here. And we'll see what happens to this. So it'll grow up. Oh, I've got my magnets on, haven't I? I have a bit full. Let's just do it like this. And that, that'll double itself as well. I could put this one into... What have I got for effect at the moment? Jump boost 2. Okay. Oh, it's not very much when you got flight. <laughs> So that will carry on making this. Let's go back to the overworld base. Well, I've done 37 minutes, so let's do the next next machine in the advanced rocketry. Wow. In fact, let's take another one of these out of here. I'm sure we've got another machine. Put it away in there. In fact, I'm going to put these two away for the matter. And I'm going to throw this. I don't know if it's got any uses, has it? You can make cyan die with two of those. Or a cluster, which moves you three of those, which is great. Photogenic, yeah, that's great, okay. And you can make it into a cover. Okay, I've actually got space for those. Let's just dump them in the space. In fact, in that case, we can actually have a look in this chest as well. So we've got 19 now. And I don't think we've been playing that much between times. Yes, we've got 64, it's easy. It's getting a bit full, it's just I'm going to empty it out shortly. Let's empty it out. Oops, wrong way. I always forget, I've got to blacklist. I don't actually know why I'm doing this, but it's just so you can see what's what's actually happening within the within here. And it's strange that this have actually got one draconium more in it. I don't understand that, unless I happen to pick it up. And it's funny the order it takes us to Fata here as well. I'm not quite sure how it figures it out. As you can see. Seems to be fairly random where it puts the stuff, takes it out and puts it in. I think that's now finished. Let's just wipe, wipe the cells again. And so what we can do with these, we can move these out of the way now. I think the roots have come from somewhere else. And same with this stone. I don't know where that came from. Okay, good. 19. So we need 9 per block. That's 2 blocks worth, which isn't very much. So next machine. I think it's the cutting machine. this one what can we make out of those probably most of the bits the only thing I saw was the was the steel gears here I think so that we can make that with dust I think we can do this nine nine will be fine let's actually make twelve that'll give me three gears like twenty four Let's shove those into the compactor. 
I'm pretty sure we'll need more gears. That's the reason why I decided to make eight gears instead of oh, six gears. Let's put those into that. Now we should be able to make the cutting machine. Very easy once you get everything set up, isn't it? So let's go and put this. Let's go and have a look at this on the hollow hollow projector first of all. So the cutting machine. That's the first one. So what do we need? One cutting machine. Great. Power plug. Saw blade assembly. Right. Let's do that one. Cutting machine. Okay, let's do saw blade assembly. So if we do it at, think, saw blade. So in fact, it should be this thing here. What do we need for that? An iron saw blade. Okay. Got an iron saw blade. Saw blade assembly should then we just click it into place. We got saw blade assembly. Good. So we need a power point. Oh, I haven't got any in there. I have to make a power point. What have I actually got in my inventory here? So I noticed I've got some stuff in my inventory. Let's put that out to the way there. We've got power points. Good. We need to make an output power point, didn't we? Let's do that. That was just that was just to complete the quest. Just do it like that. That should get that bun done. Put it back in again, you get the input one again, so you're not wasting blocks. That's fine. To the next thing we need, probably a hatch of some description. So let's have a look at that. One input hatch, one output hatch, and one motor. So we're making a leak motor. For some reason I'm having difficulty seeing the motors. I know they're all together and I still can't see them. Why not? Probably because maybe it's in Vulpis then. Oh yes, there we are. So we need some titanium gears, which we should be able to do titanium coils, I mean. Well that's a titanium ingots I should make a seat I haven't made a seat for those yet either um, iridium cores and iridium plates and I'm not sure what we've oh, got everything we need fantastic and that finished off those iridium rods which we've just finished off which one of those titanium alloy titanium iridium rods um, and hatches I need to make a fluid input output hatch, don't I? Can we do that? Let's just do it like this. Fluid input hatch. Let's get that off and make a fluid output hatch. And that should complete the quest. Hatches. Bit of a strange one that. Let's put it back to an input hatch. You normally need input hatches. So let's make two input hatches now. Those are chests, aren't they? Good. Oh, we're out. Machine frame's good. So we just need to turn that to an output hatch when we do the assembly, which is we can go and do now. So I'm going to put that beside this machine. Here, I think. I don't know how big it is. Let's put it down here. So it's only a basically a three by two, I think. So that'll be one, two. Put it there. Good. So now we, that was not a good guess, wasn't it? I need that in my hand. I don't need this. Let's see if we can put that into the right place. The resonant one can just about go there. So we need the cutting machine. Oops, I just messed that up. Oh, hate it when I do that. I think it goes there. Yes, it does. Cutting machine. Input hatch. Hmm. 
Input hatch. Output hatch. A saw blade assembly and a... What's that one? That was just a... Oh no, I messed up again. That's fluid input hatch, good. PowerPoint. I guess it's there. Saw blade assembly, which is here. And the last one is the motor. Like that. And let's come along here. And that's just. Oh, it's actually done, I think. Oh, sure enough, it's done. So now we get this. So it just needs some power, of course. Let's do the power bit. And this is quite an important machine. So what I'm going to do is one of the ones you can only get some certain types of materials. And the one we can only get is the um, silicon plates, I think they're called. You make them from silicon bulls. Right, that's ready. So it'll be now on. Turn it on. Interestingly enough, these things don't use machine, don't use power. So in here, this is the output hatch, we've got 44 of these. If I just put one of these into here, for example, probably complete a quest when I do this. That will have converted it across and made a wafer, I think it's called. All right, so the silicon wafers. And uh, sure enough, that was a good guess, wasn't it? So whenever you're making these things, you, let me take this out of the thing here. So we've still done another place another machine down where it doesn't need to. So next thing. Well, I need nearly 50 minutes, so it's quite a longish episode. Let's just have a look at those quests again before we go. I'm sorry about messing that one up. It's a bit annoying me. I will be honest. I, I don't see why I have to make an abort. See, it should have detected that already. And then just these re resins and saps. Mediator and automatic fishing. And there's weapons. I'll do those weapons. I'll do those tools off off camera, I think, between episodes. So we'll look, let's go back and have a look at the advanced rocketry stuff, which is other worlds. So we've completed hatches. Claim that reward. And let's open up the chest. Two chests. Very good. Actually, I don't know if that is actually a good reward because now chests aren't less are less of a pain, but uh, they're still a bit of a pain. Um, and there was another reward. There was what was the other one? We've completed sawmill. I thought crystallized cutting machine. Yeah, yeah, we've done those. Why did it not detect it? That should have been detected. We've had both of those in our inventory. Right, in that case, I'm not going to mess around with what number is it? 790. Okay. Good, so we can now claim that reward. Because you need to make that. You can't even make the other without those things. I don't understand it. Claim that back. So what does that leave us now? Precision assembler and the suit up. We'll do those next time, I think. Because then we've got gas charger and warp drive. I still don't know where it's taking us to this thing. So we'll look in here. Fantastic reward. Let's get rid of those as much as we can. I have to drop some stuff on the floor actually. So let's get rid of that. I should have some wood in here. Let's get rid of that. Actually, we'll get rid of the silicon wafers too. And the fluid input hatch, let's just put it away into this area here, where the, re where the rest of the stuff is. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. A lot of a lot of crafting, a few quite a few um, quests sorted out in this particular episode. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.